Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're getting the unsupported hardware message when you are going into Windows updates. So this is going to apply for most newer versions of Windows, so Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10. And this is a third party utility that will disable the unsupported hardware message that you are going to get in Windows update perhaps. So this is more as it pertains to if your processor might be having some issues like an Intel or AMD processor. So if you're coming across this unsupported error message, this tutorial will be for you. Um, just keep in mind that this is definitely a tweak here. So just make sure you create a system restore point before you proceed. So you just would go open up the start menu, type in system restore, create a system restore point, you know, is always a good suggestion here. And once you've done that, I'm going to have a link in the description of the video to this third-party utility. It's hosted on MajorGeeks.com. It's a very safe site. I've used them many times before in the past. And it's a fairly popular download. So we're going to select just download at MajorGeeks. So we're going to go right from their own servers here. We're not going to any third-party websites beyond their own site. So pretty safe site. Just give it a few seconds to load up here and it should be downloaded in a compressed file format so we're just going to open up the containment folder once it has finished downloading again you just might have to give it a moment and we're going to go ahead and double click on it drag it over to the desktop double click on the folder now versus restore w u a user v double click on it you might get an open file notification here just left click on run i have used this file before it doesn't have any weird tendencies so we're just going to left click on yes here for the registry entries here so it's going to create a registry entry here if you want to continue left click on yes I should say the keys and values contained in this point have been successfully added to the registry left click on ok Okay, so once you're done with that, you just want to go ahead and restart your computer, and hopefully that has resolved your problem. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.